Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Friday, October the 20th. Catherine Park is with us. Good Lovely to, have to be you here, here. Catherine. Thank you, Paul. Uh, you're here to tell us about Second Saturday for Kids, right? Yes. Yes, we have one coming up October 28th, and mm -hmm. the theme is Dreams. Very timely for that sort of Halloween spirit yeah. time of the year. Or Street Studios, noon to 3 p.m. on Saturday, October 28th. And we have lovely guest artist Jabberwocky Dance Studios, mm -hmm. a nonprofit multi arts studio. They do lots. We'll be coming and doing interactive arts so what, what, with the say, children. When you say interactive arts, what, what are we talking about? Well, Jabberwocky. He does dance. They're known for that. That's in their title, Dance Studio. But they do theater, they do music, they do drawing. They are multi. They are really terrific. And they're multinational, they're multi global. Um, they, they have just what we need lots today. of people who know lots of things and yeah. lots of languages and lots of art forms. So we're thrilled that Jabberwocky will be visiting guest artists. Also, a wonderful musician, Maria Duhova Trevor, will be coming to play the harp with some of her students. So we will have lovely harp music, and then there will be Orr Street artists who will do, do be doing various dream activities, including a dream house and that I will see, be loads yeah. of fun going into a dream house and thinking about dreams and doing art about dreams. Uh, so I, we I'm will looking at have a good here. time. Isn't that a dream catcher that you that have is on a the... dream catcher? Yes, dreams are important. They're important historically. They're important to live with our dreams, love our dreams, think about our dreams, create our dreams into art, share our dreams with others. Yeah. So. Now, Oh, you're not going to be dealing with dream interpretation with the kids, right? Uh, let's say artful working with dreams and what dreams are. You know, children do, they have fears and they have happinesses, they have joy. And that matter of sort of translating a little bit of fear into happiness and joy and yeah. art, not making it go away, but not like pretending things aren't there that aren't right. there. We believe at Orr, and I know this is believed by many people, art is crucial for daily life. Oh, I think it, so. it is crucial for joy, survival, education, and as the Chilean biologist, um, um, Mat uh, Maturana, his first name is, uh, his last surname is Maturana, love is the only emotion that expands intelligence, and we believe that art is constitutive of love. Yes. So Umberto Maturana, thank you for saying that. Love is the only emotion that expands intelligence, and art is at the center of love. So you that's know, you've got so many second good things, Saturday. So many good things happening that way, and Maria Trevor being there, introducing a lot of the young kids to the music of the harp that perhaps they've not heard before. They may not have heard it, so that will be lovely that she is coming with yes. students to play the harp. Okay, so it's kids ages 5 to 15. Yes. With accompanying uh, adult, no charge ever. And if anyone is coming for the first time, may I give a phone number? Uh, 573-289-0825. Please don't hesitate to call if you have any questions about Second Saturday for Kids on October 28th, noon okay. to 3 p.m. We have the dream catcher there. We do. Okay. Yes. I've You're coming, the, right? I've got You're going to be catcher. our our. Um, <laughs> I've got the dream catcher our at home. Person too. dream catcher five seven three two eight nine. Thank you, Catherine. If I can, I, if I can. No, actually, I I will not be here that weekend uh, on the twenty eighth. We'll get you another time. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, Catherine, Thank you so, much. so much for Thank coming you. by. Okay. Now I turn to a couple of nice ladies who have been with us before. Kristen Bowen, good to have you here, Kristen. Thank you. And Katie Terry. Thanks, Paul. Moms demand action. Now, you ladies have been pretty busy over the past year or so. We are busy. Okay. First of all, explain what Moms Demand Action is. Our full name is Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America, and we are a group of, of grassroots volunteers. We are not just moms. We're dads, dads. grandmothers, students. Um, anyone can be a supporter of moms. We are united uh, both in the belief that um, there's, we support the Second Amendment, but there's so much more we can do in our state and in our country to keep guns out of the hands of dangerous people. Mm -hmm. So we are speaking up for that in our state and nationally. And I'm glad that you, that you say you support the Second Amendment because many times people will 
take and run with the uh, with with the statement saying that oh well they, they want to take your they want to take your guns away from you no and that's not true it is not that true. is not true we have no interest in taking anyone's guns away we just want to keep people who have guns we would like them to have training and permits and we would prefer that people with mental illness and histories of domestic violence do not have access to guns that's where terrible terrible tragedies happen and we're committed to making change in this mm -hmm. country at this point, uh, people can have access to guns if you have a mental, a mental illness. Unfortunately, um, last year in Missouri, our legislature passed a law making it possible for people to have access to hidden, loaded handguns in public with no uh, permitting requirements. So Missouri is now a permitless carry state. Um, and this definitely was over the objection of law enforcement because we know there are people out there who will now have no safety training and have no, um, and the law enforcement has no way to restrict that, um, which is a very serious concern in Missouri. Uh, I guess you could kind of put it in the same category as if you just decided that you were going to drive a car, but you didn't have to uh, learn how to drive a car ahead of time or get a license. Exactly. Right. It's a huge responsibility, and that's, that's such a great analogy. We use it ourselves, that you have to have some training and you have to show people that you can use a weapon or a car responsibly. You can kill people with a car. You can kill people with guns. It's been a very rough month in this country, as you know. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the laws we're fighting to change in this country. And look, if, if we know that if, if loosening our gun safety laws would make people safer in our state, we'd be in a much safer place in Missouri. And we're not. We're seeing an escalating epidemic of gun violence, not just in our bigger cities, but in rural Missouri, in the Boot Heel, and even here in Columbia. So what do you say to people who will criticize you, saying, you know, all you're trying to do is take away our Second Amendment right? What do you say? Well, I would point to the people we have in our group. Our leadership is made up of gun owners and non-gun owners. We have Democrats, Republicans, people of all kinds. Unfortunately, you know, the gun lobby has had a, a strong voice here in Missouri for quite a few decades. We are newer to the table, but we are four million people supporting uh, this grassroots movement across the country. And here in Missouri, we have people who just want to see um, how our legislators could be doing more to keep us safe from dangerous people okay. carrying guns. It's not at all about gun control, it's and gun we, violence prevention. And we support the Second Amendment. All right. How can people get in touch with uh, well, Moms? We're, we're really excited to tell you that tomorrow Moms is bringing our uh, entry to the homecoming parade, the biggest entry we'll ever have, we've had. ever had. Our third um, year in the homecoming our third parade. Year, we'll be sharing information and okay. candy along the parade route. At the people homecoming can, parade. Yes. But real quick, we're almost out of time. Okay. How can they get in touch with you, a phone number? <laughs> we're on Facebook at, Missouri, at Moms Demand Action, Mo, and you can join Moms by texting the word READY okay. to the number 64433.